Hello everyone. My name is Ankit Verma. The topic for today is deep learning. To understand this, first of all we are taking this diagram. Here we are having artificial intelligence. AI is a technique which enable machine to mimic human behavior. Here whatever we are training to machine, the machine is doing that. Just like expert system, genetic algorithm, search algorithm and knowledge representation the next in the diagram is machine learning ml is the subset of artificial intelligence in ml machine learn from data and make prediction here the machine is having self learning process means it learn from data and based on that it can also decide by itself Tesla self driving car Sophia robot Apple Siri are the examples of machine learning Next in the diagram is deep learning DL is a subset of machine learning Here machine mimic human brain by using neural network Here in the diagram we are having neural network Deep learning means thinking very deeply just like our human brain is doing in the brain of a human there are various neurons and they create a network which is called neural network or nn here at first level we are having input layer from which we take the inputs it is just like our brain which take some thought Afterward second level is hidden layer in human brain we take some thought as input afterward we take various solutions for that input we have different different solutions at different different level in the same manner there can be multiple hidden layer levels at the end human brain come for a conclusion So here we have the output layer this is at the last level so neural network contain input layer hidden layers and output layer which are exactly matching as the human brain this is also called ann that means artificial neural network because it is artificially designed and it is based on the neurons of human brain now we are learning the features of deep learning the first one is it process data like human brain just like we analyze the data in the same manner the deep learning can analyze it process it and provide the solution second is it extract features from raw or unstructured data deep learning can handle any type of data next is it make complex decisions like human brain deep learning can solve various complex problems just like finding a fraud or finding some disease now we are learning the applications of deep learning The first one is computer vision. Here the vision means images and videos. So computer vision signify the computer is analyzing images and videos so that it can find the people, person or some information out of that. There are various applications which are coming under computer vision just like object detection and recognition here the image is given to the computer and from that it detect some object and recognize it the next under computer vision is image classification here the image is given to computer and computer categorize the image like animal plants and various other objects 
The next feature under computer vision is image segmentation. Here the image is given to computer and computer finds the regions out of that image. These are the three applications of deep learning which comes under computer vision. The next application of deep learning is natural language processing. It is also called NLP. Here computer process natural language which are used by humans for communication. Under the NLP, there are various applications just like the first one is language translation. Here we can convert one language to another just like from English to French, Japanese to Hindi and so on. The next application under natural language processing is speech recognition. Here computer can recognize the speech. What we are speaking, it can understand and it can even type. Next application under NLP is automatic text generation. Here computer can automatically write the reports and letters. The next under NLP is sentiment analysis. Here computer can process the language of a human and analyze its sentiments just like what is the mood, is he happy or sad. These four are the applications of deep learning which comes under NLP. Next application of deep learning is reinforcement learning. Here we don't have the idea of input, output or the environment. Here we use the hit and trial method and reward system. In the reinforcement learning, the first thing come is game playing. The computers are trained to play the game just like the chess. So these are trained using the deep learning. Next thing coming under reinforcement learning is robotics. With the help of deep learning, robots can take the complex decision. Next application coming under reinforcement learning is control systems. Deep learning is used to design very complex control systems just like traffic management and power grid management. These three are the applications of deep learning which comes under reinforcement learning. Next application of deep learning is fraud detection. There are so many frauds on ATM, credit card, debit card. So these fraud can be detected using the deep learning. Next application is medical diagnosis. The diseases like cancer can be easily diagnosed using the deep learning. Next application is self-driving car. Tesla has launched the car which is driven by self. There is no driver. This is only possible because of deep learning. Next application is recommendation system. The popular apps like Netflix, YouTube, they are promoting their videos to the customers because of their past data, means what they are searching. Based on that, they are showing the same videos. So this is the recommendation system. These all are the applications of deep learning. Now we are learning the challenges of deep learning. The first challenge is it requires large amount of data for learning. Deep learning model work like human brain and to achieve that complexity they learn from very huge amount of data. Next challenge is they require computational resources just like GPU and TPU. Deep learning model need large processing power. The next challenge is they are time consuming. 
Deep learning models solve complex problems and for that they take more time. Next challenge is difficult to interpret results. Deep learning models are very complex. We cannot assume that which decision they will give. So it is very difficult to find which result they are going to provide. Next challenge is overfitting. Deep learning model must be accurate and for that they are trained so many times and because of the multiple time training they become inaccurate for the new data. So these all are the challenges of deep learning. So that's all for today. Thank you.